Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you this lever and wood I swapped for. So, I was speaking to my friend Elliot online. He said, oh, do you know anybody who wants to buy a bat? I said, oh, no, not really, but uh, what have you got? And he showed me this bat amongst a couple of others. Now, you would have seen the B3s that I've put a little thing up for him. That was more of a thanks and a gratitude to him because what we've done is I've actually swapped that GM players that I've shown a few times for this bat. So, he gets a bat that's uh, of equal quality uh, as far as timber and that and more within his weight towards 211 and I get a bat that's more within my weight towards 28 and 29. This is a bat that was advertised on the Laver Facebook page in November 2017 and Elliot purchased it. It is a private bin extended ultra. So it's not the typical ultra that Laver make where you see the dramatic drop down of the shoulders and the wood taken out here. You can see there that edge runs all the way through. Paul at Laver & Wood was telling me is closer to what they call their butterfly shape. But it has all the distinctive features of the Ultra, which is a big thick toe, that exaggerated swell and big edges. This spine here drives a little bit up and the, the edge carries a little bit through just to extend that a little bit higher up the blade. Private Bin uh, is one of their many grades, starting with the Signature, which is their top, which is over $1,500 New Zealand. It's the best of the best, this numbered and uh, very rare. Then you go to the Reserve Edition, and they're towards the thousand, and the Private Bin is around the $750 uh, New Zealand mark. So he actually had this um, price of a special reserve which is about $500 New Zealand and it's just lovely. It's a low density piece of timber. You can see those exaggerated edges. I'll measure those straight away. So that edge there is nearly 42 millimeters. The toe is very thick, 28 and 28 at the edge of the toe. Spine, I'd say peaks around 63, 64. Oh no, 65.6. And there's no way this will make it through the gauge purely because of that flat face. You can see, although the gauge says it account, uh, accommodates 68 millimeters, basically has five millimeters of camber at the face. So this can't be any more than 63 from that point to the tips obviously a lot taller between 65 and 66. Uh, one thing I have noticed on it, handmade, 42 on one side and it's 43.6 on the other. So it's a slight variation there. What do I think of it? Well, I think a lot of it to swap for it. I basically wanted something a little lighter and I've been really uh, starting to enjoy my feather light. So this is sort of the next level up from that feather light. The bat also had the carbon rod inserted. So it's got the stiffer handle that later bats do. I'll just tap it up for you. So nothing really there. You can see that's where that spine starts to swoop down. The spine basically reaches its peak around here and that's where it starts to go all the way through a mid load position and that will get much better as you play it in uh, and I've actually ordered a new set of uh, stickers these are the labor and wood shield stickers the traditional ones that you can see there but I've got new stickers coming and you'll see that in the second part of the video uh, and I've also got a new grip coming for it we weigh it now it was 285 with the original labor grip and no scuff and with this heavier grip and scuff on, 2.99. It feels like, it feels like 2.8 in my hands. It is a really, really light pickup. And I think that's a lot to do with that um, low density timber. So it's not the most pretty timber. This one was definitely picked on its density. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as usual, I went the whole hog and I've taken all the stickers off this and because I'm a bit OCD, I evened out the edges. So they're pretty much 40 to 41 on each side. And I've also ordered some new stickers, which just came in. So these are the K 
carbo stickers. So as it is, I haven't taken the side stickers off. So I guess I better. So just one thing about um, getting off glue. The easiest thing to use is mineral turpentine. I found that it doesn't normally affect stickers at all. Uh, and you can even just a lightly a light dab on some paper can get rid of um, marks on labels as well. So it just serves to break down whatever glue is there. So I'm just putting that on now. And then all I do, I'll just tighten it up. Let's get my little scraper. I've got something I can find. And just run that along. That takes off the excess. Don't dig it into your wood. Just comes off like a little gel. So that's just the effect of the turpentine on it. Just helps you to scrape it off and then rub off what's remaining. So this is the rear sticker. And this one goes on like so on the back. Obviously there's a little bit of trimming I might have to do with that one. The front sticker goes on like that. So that's an easy application, that one right there. So that's all nice and clean. And I'll just show you something about these stickers. Basically had these laser cut to go laver and wood and they've peeled off the laver and wood onto another bat. They've kept the tin plate and then applied that to a red background. That's the front. And the edge stickers. And I'll put my sticker on the bottom. And what's the final weight with scuff sheet on and edge tape? So 2.92, that little tennis racket um, outer grip you saw blue, uh, that's just adding about 0.3 of an ounce. And that just makes it a little bit thicker and just takes the sting out of the handle for me. I've done the same with the other labour and wood. So yeah, not bad. Let's um, turn the camera around and I'll finally bounce a ball on it. Give me my final thoughts on it. Alright, so we'll start off with a four piece, very really old one. You can hear that hardness to it, it still needs to be played in. I think it's just faced maybe of overs or maybe just catches. It's definitely got some power behind it. And now we'll do the jukes. Definitely needs playing in. Just by comparison, when we do the feather light, which has been played in, still not used in a match, you can see that that's really going now in comparison once you hit the middle. And because this one has such a big profile, once this actually plays in, it's going to go from here all the way down to there and also be quite a wide middle. Very forgiving. That is a labour and wood uh, low density ultra. More of a mid to mid high ultra. And I've put the new stickers on, the red and black carbon, as you can see there and it looks stunning. So eventually that will be my weapon of choice. So thank you very much to Elliot and also thanks to Labour and Wood for helping me out uh, organising stickers and that nice grip. So it's a Labour and Wood.